All right, guys, what up? Welcome back. My name is Austin. This is Austin's Off-Road Garage. We work on a couple third gens, have a bunch of fun. Today, on today's agenda, we are working on some sliders, and I've got a cage for this thing. Just being that the fact that I'm going to haul my family around in this, and I want to be safe. So here we go. So cage is from 4X Innovations comes pre-bent you just gotta weld it together yourself so like a diy cage that's a pile of tubes there those are some uh gussets and some oh shit handles there and then some uh sandwich plates that you mount to the body we're gonna do a full video on this but today we are working on oh i also got uh ram assist for the for this third gen, the solid axle third gen. So we went ahead and ordered some sliders from 4X Innovations as well. Um, I already got this one done. So it's fully welded out and everything. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I did to get this one, the other side, how I like it. So we got some square tube, Got it cut to an angle. It actually comes like this. So we're just gonna lay these tubes out, tack them on, throw them on this side of the forerunner passenger side. And then we have these plates that we're gonna clamp onto the frame where these tubes land. And then we're gonna tack those on and then we're gonna weld everything. And then we're gonna paint the sliders, everything except for where the feet weld to the frame. So this one's ready for paint. Just gotta sand it down, get all the oil off it, and then we're gonna paint that one. But I wanted to get them both into uh, a paintable stage before we, you know, you know what I'm saying. Just get them both ready for paint. So, these are two inch, this is two inch square tubing. Smart center. Um, 4X says that you can't go more than 12 inches on the front leg or the back leg. So I just, I'm just gonna measure from here to 10 inches and then center it on 10 on both the ends. And then the center, we're just gonna measure this thing, which is 66 inches long, mark a line center, and then tack that one in the center. Ten inches, center, ten inches, gonna center all the tubes on there, and then we're gonna just tack them in place. Someone please explain to me why every time you get some free time when the kids are asleep, you come out here, do some projects, then you run out of welding wire. We'll continue this tomorrow. All right, sick. We got new welding wire there. Um, we got this one in position. Looks pretty good. Sticks out a little further than I like it, but it'd be a good step. Protect it pretty good. Uh, I ghetto rigged the shit out of this. You're supposed to use three jacks. 
I only have two. But, uh, let me get my light out here real quick. You can see there's going to be a plate that goes in between those. But all the legs look good, in a good position on the frame. So we're going to get the plates up in there and tack them on. And then we are going to pull it out and finish weld it on the table. right i got this plate well tacked on this one tacked on and i went to do this one and my tack broke on the front leg there so i got to fix that real quick throw it back on the truck get that plate on didn't get that one very center that one looks okay I don't really know how much it's gonna matter. But that's where we're at. So break that off, grind the welds off, and then uh, re-weld it together. All right, so got the plates tacked on, got the gussets tacked in. I gotta go get my kid from school. And then I'll final weld all these and then we'll paint them up and we'll be done. Well, then we got to weld them to the frame, but yeah, turned out good. So we're just slowly burning these things together. I start with the stat, I start with the legs first and then I weld the plates. Yeah, getting after it today. Now we're gonna prep these for some paint. We're gonna hit it with some Scotch-Brite. There's some tape residue we gotta get off. Just wanna clean up all these welds really good. We're gonna use the drill for that. Use some mineral spirits, get rid of all the grease. And yeah, let's get to it. All sanded down. They're not perfect, but uh, I think they'll work. Woo, there we go. So I'm gonna hang them from the lift, my legs on my lift. I'm not gonna paint the feet because I still gotta weld them onto the truck, but lift them up, paint them. We're just gonna go with some all in one, gloss black. Started painting and forgot I didn't video any of it. So, got them all strapped up nice and ghetto. I love it. 
Right, I wiped the mineral spirits on there, dried it off, air blew, uh, blew it with some air. Don't mind my uh, oil here. I just own a Dodge, so that's, that's the problem. But I got a super light coat on the front of this one. And uh, we're gonna start doing this one here in a second. It's turning out pretty dang good though. We've got a nice light coat for the first one. We're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Then we're gonna lay it down a little thicker. Probably gonna put a couple coats on here. Cause these are gonna get beat up and I don't want it to touch them up every time. Looking good though. Let's throw our second coat on here. Yeah. <clears throat> That's laying down pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna throw a second coat on all these and then uh, we'll be back. So what I did is I marked where the plates are gonna sit on the frame. We're gonna clean all the paint off the frame and then we are gonna weld the sliders to the frame. So what you're looking at now is we've got the frame all cleaned up. Now we're gonna set the slider in place. I'm gonna clamp the back leg. Try and do the front. The middle is usually pretty good. On the other side, I had issues with the back leg. So I wanna make sure I clamp it down when I tack it in place. That way we don't have any issues. I'm just gonna clean up the pads on these with the grinder real quick. And then we'll set it in place and start welding. All right, clamps are in place. Everything's nice and tight where I like it. So we're gonna go ahead and tack these in place. I just realized I forgot to uh, clean up the freaking plates there. Whatever. <laughs> we're gonna melt them in hot enough. I don't think it'll matter anyway. Yeah, that's where we're at. Check these out. They look pretty good, I think. You're gonna have a nice little kick out on them. I think that looks pretty sweet. I've already done the other side. This one's fully welded in. It's hard to see up in there, but got them all burned in pretty stoked on getting this done once these are welded on interiors coming out cage is going in all right let's get welding all right they're all burned in did a decent job welding them in getting up top is a mother i struggled way harder on this side than i did the other side I don't know why. But yeah, just gonna clean them up with a wire brush and then shoot them black. Be done. <laughs> 